Washerin. Hi guys, today's video is about cleaning our reef aquarium. We'll be showing you how we do water changes, cleaning the windows, changing the sponges, and so forth. Uh, here's the buckets we have for doing the water change when we take some water out and throw it away. Here's our salt that we're going to be using for mixing in the mixing tank that side. We'll show you how we put it in now. And also some filter sponge that's going to replace the old filter sponge in the back. As you guys can see as well, one of the UV lights on top here is not working. We will do another video where we actually replace that. And another problem we've had with all the load shedding in South Africa, the skim has stopped working. We have tried to clean the pump and all that, it just doesn't work. So but that's for a video for another day. Today is just cleaning the tank. So we start by putting the salt into the mixing tank. We like to do this first. So the salt can get completely mixed up. It's quite hectic to open this thing. So we've got a 100 litre mixing tank there at the bottom. We've measured 5 cups in 100 litre. Gets a salinity at 1.025. We like to keep it exactly at that. There's a pump in here that's going to pump that side, pumps this side, so it keeps on rotating the water. One. I like to give it a nice mix just to get everything everywhere and the pump will do the rest basically in the next hour or two. So now for cleaning the windows we use these magnetic cleaners it's quite powerful just watch your hands uh, the inside's got a float in so whenever you drop it or something like that you won't be going digging for it so you can just take it from the top thing it's also got a blade on to scrape more of the algae off. Do the corners first. Put that skew so we can get the algae behind the brood so it doesn't continue growing and growing. Okay, that's for cleaning the windows. Now we're changing the filter sponge, sponge on the overflow side. Just take a piece and break it off. Now a big piece. That should be fine. Looks like my new head in. <laughs> okay. It's 
So I'm just going to get it back quickly for the old one. And then the camera should just go that way around. Or I can go that way around. It's a bit narrow for two people to go onto one side. As you can see, the old one's very dirty. So they've dripped out for a bit. Got the new one, you just squash it in. It should automatically settle. We can just spread it out a bit from the inside. So no water can go through without going through the filter. And that's it. Also what we do, we put a towel over the overflow to make the noise a bit less. Otherwise you're sleeping and you're just hearing a waterfall. Okay. okay, so we're also going to change the carbon using a media filter bag. We do this once a month to make the water nice and clear. Especially if there's fumes in your house, if you're smoking or painting or whatever, this will help purify your water. So here's the media bag. We take one small cup of carbon. Put the media bag over the cup. Make sure it's all around. And you just go through. You pull the string and it will close the filter bag for you. Also, you can't put a media in like this. You have to rinse it first. So we use some auto water from the top of tank to clear that. We do this twice to make sure everything is nice and clean. So this is auto water on this side. On the top off. As you can see, it make it like smoky. You don't all this dust inside of your tank. It's, it's bubbling as well. So we're just going to leave it like this for a while, like five minutes, and then we we'll go back to you again. Okay, so we did the second round for the auto water. As you can see, the water is clear now. Typically, you want to put this in a high flow area. We usually use our skimmer, the outlet of the skimmer, and we just hang it over it. So we take the old one out. Chuck that away. And over the inlet just hang the new one. Also if you hang it, it actually keeps the bag closed so you don't get carbon all over your sump. So just hang it like that. And you make sure the outlet is blowing onto it so it cleans all the water. Okay, so the salt is all mixed up. What we're going to do now is you turn the mixing pump off. And what you do is you take the pipe from the mixing pump and you basically chuck it into the sump now. When you turn it on, the water pumps it there. And then I'll open this valve. It comes from the overflow. It's quite the easiest way to actually do a water change. You don't have to go on top and into the water from top. It just falls down and you pump your water from that side. Okay, so you're basically going to empty this in your toilet. 
If you're not putting on your plants, on your grass, anything like that, the salt water said it will kill your grass. Okay, so that's the video of cleaning and doing a water change for your marine aquarium. It's quite a, a job carrying all this water up and down. So please guys, remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put it in the comments and I will answer it for you.